What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so our second er, our second episode back. And, uh, well, let's see, in our last episode, what did we do? Oh yes, we won ourselves our 8th badge. Look at that, 8 badges. Fan-freaking-tastic. Anywho, let's see, um... So yeah, we won the 8th badge, and now we have options on what exactly it is that we want to do. And that, that that's either go to the Pokemon League and just wreck everything over there, or go back home and, uh, you know, start discovering some big, big things. And I mean big. You know what? Let's go ahead and find some big stuff right here. So let's go ahead and fly all the way back home, because... Uh, yeah, something caught my eye while I, while, while I was saving the world and all that stuff. And, uh, well, Professor Birch has a little something-something for us, too. Something special. As a thank you for, like, you know, being cool and all that stuff. So, here we are flying back. And uh, the funny thing is that I could have just flown Latios or Latios and all that stuff. Huh. That is hilarious. Anywho, before we go into Professor Birch's uh, lab, there is something right here that, that will appear right after the whole Kyogre Groudon event. And it's this. You will be able to find yourself, bam, a Mewtwo Knight X. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Omega Ruby, you will be getting the Mewtwo Knight, uh, the Mewtwo Knight Y. So, there you go, Mewtwo Knight. And now it is time for us to go straight to the lab, if I can find it. Oh yeah, it's right here. So, let's go right ahead, talk to this man, see what he's all about and all that stuff. He's waiting for us and he's going to be like this. Welcome back, Draven. You must be tired after all your recent exploits. May has been keeping me updated about all the grand adventures around Hoenn. After hearing all that you've been up to, there is something I'd definitely like to share with you. The fact of the matter is that after resolving the, the kerfuffle with the ancient, super ancient Pokemon, a number of Pokemon never before recorded in Hoenn re in the Hoenn region began to appear all over. Those Pokemon are precisely the subject of my many uh, long years of research. They are Pokemon which are thought to have resided in the Hoenn's thousands of years ago. We'll finally be able to meet Pokemon we've never seen. The very Pokemon I pursued all these years. I'm so excited I feel like I'm about to burst. So excited that I went uh, right ahead and upgraded the Pokedex to, uh, to be ready for all of them. Now, let me upgrade your Pokedex while you're here. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a National Dex. And the cool thing is that, yes, uh, we, we, we sort of maybe probably found some Pokemon. Uh, or traded some Pokemon to the game. So their data might be in there or something. I don't know. It's going to be something. Anywho, however, that does not necessarily mean the environment has become any hospital to humanity. People, Pokemon, and nature, the balance between these three great ecosystems has shifted greatly. I can't wait for you to start exploring the new this new world. Exploration may help us learn how to best coexist with the Pokemon uh, this time forward. I hope you will find your answers to the great question as you continue your journey with the Pokedex. Okay. So, there you go, guys. We got ourselves a new Pokedex. And uh, let's see what, what... If I remember correctly, what Pokemon did I get in a sense of... Uh, oh, maybe only one. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I, I've gotten quite a few Pokemon from the Kanto region. As you guys can see, now they're, they're, they're all split up in different regions. I believe there was a Pokemon that you knew. Okay, so I got quite a few from uh, the Kanto region. If I could just go all the way down right here, let's see. We're just gonna speed on through. Here's the Johto region, and in the Johto region, I got two Pokemon right there. Three, four, okay. In the Hoenn region, which we all we we have quite a few Pokemon here, so that's definitely gonna be changing it sometime soon. If you guys can tell, yes, I have not been doing any work at all when it comes to Pokemon and and whatnot. So, yeah. Sooner rather than later, we're going to be getting some Pokemon, uh, you know, sent in here and there and all that crud. So, let's go ahead and move on. I believe one of the first Pokemon you'll be able to find right here is in Route 101. As you guys can see, things have changed. It used to be where I caught most of the Pokemon onto Route 101. But now it looks like to us that we will be finding some brand new Pokemon. As you guys can see, I'm going to show you an example right now. And, oh yeah, here he is, somewhere. Oh, there he is, okay. 
So we're going to sneak. Hopefully no Pokemon attacks us and ruins this. And look at that. It's a level 2, and it is a rare Pokemon. So let's go ahead and see what we will find. Hmm... And as you guys can see, we have found a Sawaddle from the Unova region. And, uh, well, let's see. It's an easy looking Pokemon. Let's go ahead and capture it with a, you know, easy nest ball right here. Again, you will be able to find some rare Pokemon, some brand new Pokemon. And, uh, I think I'm going to be, like, capturing most of these guys, like, off screen and all that stuff. And there we go. Look at that. Sawaddle. Captured. I think it's the very first Pokemon in our in the Unova region that we've actually captured. So, you know, later on we will be getting some more Pokemon and all that crud. So there you go, Swaddle. Very first Pokemon, 540 Pokemon, or the 540th Pokemon. And since this Pokemon makes its own clothes out of leaves, it is popular mascot for fashion designers. Okay. And I believe I called them Waddles at one point. Hmm. Okay, so that is that. There are more Pokemon you can actually find, and uh, let's see. There is something else that there is something else that we need to do. Now we did get ourselves the Eon Flute, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly onto Latias. Now, another thing that has uh, has changed here in the Hoenn region after the Kyogre Groudon events is that you will be able to find yourselves. Some new islands right here. As you guys can see, if you see an island with a bright star or a little shining area right here, you will be able to find the Mirage Islands, Mirage Force, and all that stuff. And of course, you will be able to find yourself some Pokemon, rare Pokemon that you probably won't be seeing in Hoenn. So that's what we're going to be doing right here. Just showcasing a few things. As you guys can see, here is the Mirage Forest. We're going to be stepping out... And, uh, wow, we need a Pokemon with cut. <laughs> now, these places change every so often whenever you go onto the internet and then, you know, switch off. And, well, as you guys can see, we found ourselves a Sunkern. Not a very powerful Pokemon, but yes, uh, yes, we will be capturing this Pokemon with this Pokeball right here. So, I guess you could say this episode is for me to showcase what kind of, uh... Yeah, what, show, showcase what kind of Pokemon you can actually find. And, well, this Pokemon right here will not be captured that easily. So let's go ahead and do this again. Come on. Come on. Come on, stay in that ball. You better stay in the ball. Oh, come on. Oh, you suck. Okay. So, yeah, this... See what, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So it hit me pretty hard. I am throwing an Ultra Ball because... Yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to let a little... A, a little song current beat up my, uh, you know, my Thunderball right here. And, well, let's see. There you go. Throwing out the peace sign. Okay. So, that's a few points here and there. And uh, let's add this Pokemon straight to the Pokeball. Or the Pokedex. And look at this. Sunkern, the seed Pokemon. Sunkern tries to move a, as little as, possible, as, as it possibly can. It does so because it tries to conserve all the nutrients it has stored in its body for its evolution. It will not eat a thing subsisting or subs subsisting. Yeah, I can't even say that. Only on morning dew. Hmm. We gotta have some of that mountain dew, morning dew, that kind of stuff. Okay. So there's that. And. Uh, yeah, we really need a Pokemon with cut because, uh. Kind of want to. I kind of want to see what's up right here, but yes, you will be able to find different kinds of Pokemon in different kinds of Mirage areas right here, guys. And let's see. I, I don't know what else to say except for like you know, uh, have fun with it, I guess. So yeah, I don't have that. Make sure to register your your Eon Flute, guys, because uh, yeah, it's it's so much easier than just doing what we just did right there. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and see if we can find one more Pokemon, one more different Pokemon right here. And here we have an Audino. You guys don't remember. Audino is kind of like the Chansey of the Unova region. This Pokemon right here, if you beat it, will give you a butt ton of uh, experience points. But because I, you know, I kind of want to collect Pokemon and all that stuff, let's go ahead and capture this guy. 
Again, eventually, uh, my Pokedex will be filled up and all that stuff. I will be trading in Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and all that stuff because, well, yeah, I kind of need to do that. I failed to do that. I mean, come on, guys. Been on a long break. Long, long break. Anywho, there we go. We got ourselves Audinu, and uh, this guy is a hearing Pokemon. It touches others with its feelers on its ears, using the sound of their heartbeats to tell how they are feeling. Okay. Yeah, one one does say that you can actually tell what they're feeling and all that stuff, and huh, it looks like to me there's one more Pokemon we haven't seen in this. Maybe two. Hmm. Actually, no, that's a Sunkern. Okay. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna just not do that, okay? So let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here and see if we can actually find another Mirage area, Mirage Island, and all that stuff. Now, there are going to be spots where you're gonna be able to find legendary Pokemon, just like the Mirage Islands and all that stuff, but it varies from hour to hour, day to day. And look at this, you're gonna be seeing some flocks right here, so let's go ahead and try and, you know, get hit by one. And what do we got? We found ourselves a Talo. Okay. Talo, you're about to not get beat right here because, well, you know, we're up in the air. Now, my question is, how is uh, Thunderball just, like, flying like there? Okay, so let's see. Is there another island? Oh, yeah, look at that. There is another island right here. And this is the Pathless Plain. Okay, so... Whenever you see an island or an area that is not labeled as a mirage or anything, it is usually where a legendary Pokemon is at. As you guys can see, this is the Pathless Plain, and you feel a piercing gaze sizing you up. This is where you're going to be finding yourself a legendary Pokemon. And how will you know? There is going to be a big ring right in front of you, and you know what? Let's make it fun, guys. Let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon. My Pokemon are up to level, I guess. I hope. I really do hope. Okay, so Thunderball, how you doing? And let's go ahead and save the game because uh, we kind of don't need that mess right now. So here we go. And let's see what kind of Pokemon we're going to find. So it is a mysterious ring. It is floating in the air. Somehow the visible deep in the hole. Would you like to put your hand in the hole? Yes. This sounds like... Uh-oh. And would you look at that? We are encountering Kabalion, the legendary Pokemon of Hoenn. We... Yeah. We need to be careful with this Pokemon because it is a Steel-type Pokemon, I think, and a Fighting-type Pokemon. And as you guys can see, it does retaliate. That That is an incredible move. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. Now... Yes, this Pokemon is, uh, what was it? It's one of a kind, so make sure to try and capture it. Again, save the game before you, you even battle this guy. And here comes an Iron Head attack. This one is going to, yeah, it's going to definitely do something. So, let's see. Yeah, this guy is not a, not a special attacker. So, let's go with the Pokemon that is uh, weaker than it. Let's see. Yeah, Hydra is not going to survive. So, let's go with Toxic Batman. And hopefully, hopefully nothing happens right here. So here we go. It talks to Batman and here comes Sacred Sword. It's signature move. Not effective. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I would go Confuse Ray, but that is not going to happen right here. So let's go right ahead and see if we can go with a Timer Ball or something like that. Yes, yeah, so we got 21 Timer Balls. And come on. Stay in the ball. Be cool. Come on. Be cool, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. So here comes a retaliate attack. And that is going to mess up uh, Toxic Batman just a little bit. So let's go ahead. Throw another Toxic Batman. And, or another Ultra Ball or Timer Ball. Dang. Can't even say these right. Holy crud. Okay. So look at that. It is not going to... Yeah, it's not going to do anything right now. And... Here we go again. Let's go with this. And damn it. Okay, so that's not going to happen. Okay, so we need to figure out a 
Oh wow. Okay, so it's it it's increasing its attack sharply. So that is not cool. So let's go right ahead. Let's go. Let's see. Does Leviathan have an attack right here? That. Let's see. Does Leviathan have an attack that can actually work? Crap baskets. Okay. Um. Okay, so we're gonna have to take a risk right here. And uh, you know what? Let's go Giga Drain since it is a Steel type Pokemon. And that is actually going to work perfectly because, you know, it doesn't take so much so much HP and all that crud. And that is going to mess me up just a little. So let's go with another Giga Drain just to put it on the red. And Kabalion. Yes. Okay, so Kabalion is uh, going to go with another Retaliate right here. And this one is it. So now... Let's go right ahead... Go right ahead and switch out to a Pokemon that is strong enough. So let's go with Thunderball right here. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What can we do? Another Timer Ball? Yeah, we got to go with another Timer Ball right here. So here we go. Timer Ball for the win. And... Dang it. Okay, so this Pokemon is not letting me live at all. Here comes another Swords Dance. That is going to mess me up. And... Here we go. Another another timer ball. And come on. Come on. Stay in the ball. Be cool. Be cool, man. Oh, <laughs> you suck. Okay, so let's see. It is practically unstoppable right now. Yeah, this Pokemon is practically unstoppable. One hit is going to mess up any one of my Pokemon. So we have got to capture this guy right here. And yes, it is not letting me attack or... Yeah, it is not letting me keep it. As you guys can see, we got messed up. So, let's see. Um, let's see. We're going to go with a Hydra right here. Yes, I know. Sacrificial Lamb. And, oh yeah, it does that. Okay, I completely forgot about that. But still, it's not going to save us from what's about to happen. So, let's go straight for a Timer Ball. And, come on. Stay in the ball. Be cool. Be cool, man. And yes! Throwing at that peace sign. So there it is, guys. We captured ourselves our first legendary Pokemon from Hoenn, Kabalion. And just like that, Hydra grows to level 28. And well, let's see what the Let us see what the 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 Pokedex say right here. Alrighty. So here's Kabalion, the Iron Will Pokemon, both steel and fighting type. It has a body and heart of steel. It worked with its uh, allies to punish people when they hurt Pokemon. Very, very good uh, Pokedex entry and all that stuff. Anywho. Like I said, it is one of a kind. And, uh, well, that is pretty much it right here in the Pathless Plane. Like I said, guys, anything besides Mirage or anything like that, you will be able to find a legendary Pokemon. And, uh, yeah. I'm actually happy that we got to do that. So let us move on right here. I don't know where else we're going to be going. So that's the Pathless Plane. And as you guys can see, we see nothing else except for this. There is a shining area right here, and this is the Nameless Cavern. This right here will actually have a Pokemon from the Sinnoh region, which we will be taking care of probably in the next episode because... We need to prepare a little bit better. Now, we're going to be flying just a little bit, just to show you guys what's up. Going on to Latias, look at this. Boom. That is pretty fantastic right there. And eventually, you're going to be able to find yourself some more, some more areas. So, what is going to happen, guys, is in the next episode, I am going to show you another place... We're gonna we're gonna take an adventure, okay? We're gonna definitely take an adventure and try and capture some more legendary Pokemon and other things too. Before we go straight into the Pokemon League. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope that uh, you know your patience has been rewarded. Like I said in the last episode, I'm thankful that I'm thankful for all the nice comments you guys left me. I'm um, um, you know I'm, I'm very thankful. Um, and this is the reason to why, you know, I, I do what I do right here. So, again, thank you guys again for all your patience. Thank you guys again for, you know, the well wishes and all that stuff. 
I will be back for the next episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.